Hi Capricorn, it's Ellie. Welcome to my channel and welcome to your reading. Let's begin. I've already cleansed the space and I've meditated on the cards. This reading is good for your sun, moon rising, and Venus signs. And if this reading resonates for you, please give this video a thumbs up and then leave a comment down below how it resonated for you. I want to say thank you to each and every one of you who has liked, shared, and subscribed to my channel. Thank you so much for supporting me here on YouTube and thank you for supporting other tarot readers on YouTube as well. I'm accepting personal readings, so if you are interested in booking a personal reading with me, all you have to do is click on the link in the description box down below. You have the Tower, the Four of Wands, the Four of Cups, Ten of Wands, Knight of Swords, Temperance, and then the King of Pentacles. All right. Knight of Swords. So you've been sleepless. A lot of anxiety coming in. I'm getting you started. You actually just met this person. Very recent. Alright. So maybe this is someone who has a different time zone. That's why you're having sleepless nights. But more so, I do feel the anxiety. I do feel the anxiety that you have right now. Because you keep on wondering, is this the right person? Should I be spending all this time and energy and, and love? Are they going to give it back? Are they going to reciprocate this? Or am I just going to get my heart broken again? That's where you are right now. Okay. Anyway, underneath the deck, no, I'm sorry, the, the overall energy of the, the reading is the tower card. There is a surprise coming in for you. There's someone who might be traveling towards you, I'm getting. Anyway, the tower card as your main energy. So you, for some of you, you will get a tower moment, right? You will get a tower moment. For some of you, it's a surprise coming in for you. It's a very good surprise, actually. Sometimes we, we get scared of the tower. But the thing is, there's always a reason why we go through a tower moment. So it's because there's something in our lives that we need to realize we have to let go of. The Four of Wands and then the Knight of Swords. This is my halfway to marriage card. Then someone coming in wanting to have that higher form of commitment with you. All right? But it's quite fast. All right? It's quite fast. That's why. That's why you're having that anxiety moment. You're having anxious thoughts. Because this person comes in pretty quick, pretty fast. You just met them. But this is someone who actually sees... you know, forever with you. So should you wait? Should you wait more? Is there another offer coming in? Should you be more patient? You're asking yourself those questions. If you really want an answer, you can always ask your guides. Ask them for a clear sign that you should wait. Or if this is the one for you. The offer is there, you're not really sure if this is the right person. If this is the right offer. If you're unsure, ask your guides. And 
and then you have the ten of wands and then the the king of pentacles for some of you you're still trying to get your money you know your ducks in a row your finances on point you're you're working on your money your career for some of you you've recently started and will it be will a relationship be a burden for you you're not really sure male female it's not really gender specific reading we're looking at the energies but yeah have the magician the five of swords and then the moon card all right you have the magician the five of swords and then the moon card you can you how can i say this be careful about your thoughts all right because you will manifest you will manifest for sure. Whatever you think about, you bring about. For sure, you will manifest, all right? The moon card, trust your intuition. It will never lead you astray. And then you have the nine of pentacles, the world card, and then the five of wands as advice for you. Nine of pentacles. Again, for some of you, I have to say this, you're a little bit struggling with money. So... Maybe focus on that first. Let love come in. The right person will come in, all right? The world card, for some of you, you could be traveling. For some of you, there's an old chapter of your life that you really need to close out, right? I know it's been quite a long time for you, but you really need to close this out. And then the five of wands. Inner struggles that you have to address. You really have to address. We have deception. Someone is wearing a false mask in this relationship. I'm getting actually because you're... I want to pull a card on it. All right. Um, because you, as I told you, you pull, I, I pulled a card and there was anxiety. All right okay deception and then you have the empress the queen of pentacles and then the four of swords coming out for you so whoever this is that's coming in trust your intuition all right for some of you they could be married they could be married and for some of you maybe they just got out of a relationship all right maybe they just got out of a marriage that they're still healing from and um could still be struggling you know about the, the trauma that the, the their past relationship brought to them just take it how it resonates all right you have false person again that came out do be careful all right again trust your intuition And then communicate clearly. All right, that is all I have for you, Capricorn. I hope something in this reading resonated. And if it did, please give this video a thumbs up and then leave a comment down below how it resonated for you. I love you all so much. I'll see you in the next reading and stay blessed.